right. We all have rites of passage, rituals and events that events we go through when we come of age to mark our transitions through life. While these may differ from culture to culture, one rite of passage that all of us share is a trip to the movies. Whether you went with someone special or just with your friends to that first unsupervised trip to an R-rated movie when you turn 17 is something we all have in common. Movies are a central part of our culture that we watch or reference in conversations every day. So if you don't know who Don Corleone is, you should, it, it, is you should probably take the time, sit down, and watch a movie. While movies serve as pop culture references, they also act like visual books. <sighs> Either teaching you something you didn't already know, or just providing a temporary escape from the reality around you. Through, the, through these small escapes from reality only lasts about one to one or three hours, so you feel like you're a part of the story. Watching these characters get into trouble, fall in love, or fight allows you to show emotion, emotion towards these characters, even if what you see is impossible or fictional. The, this movie, Green Street Hooligans, is, tells you a story about a British soccer gang, British soccer gang, while teaching you something about violence, and how it permeates from your actions back to your family. But movies do more than just teach you a lesson or entertain you for a few hours. They can inspire you to change something about yourself or learn what, how gangsters talk about when they're not working. So if you, so whatever genre you prefer, westerns, <whistles> adventure, or just a good old detective story, sit down and watch a movie.